Hello! In this video, we'll demonstrate horizontal gel electrophoresis for nucleic acids. In addition to general lab equipment, we need a gel tray, comb, casting plate, and tank with electrodes. You can also use a system with fixed length combs like this. First, switch on the water bath and add enough water so the water level will be higher than the gel solution level. Set the water bath temperature to 55 degrees Celsius. Mix the required amount of electrode buffer and agarose powder in a shot glass bottle. Fasten the cap and swirl to mix the solution well. Remember to loosen the cap before heating to avoid an explosion. Heat the solution in the microwave. Do not microwave more than one bottle at a time to avoid uneven heating. Do not microwave the solution in increments longer than one minute at the highest power setting to avoid overheating. Check if the solution becomes completely clear after microwaving. If not, microwave until the solution is completely clear. Once the agarose powder is completely dissolved, fasten the cap tightly. Place the sealed bottle into the water bath so the solution will cool down to the proper temperature without solidifying. Prevent the bottle from floating in the water bath. Make sure the water bath level is higher than the gel solution level. Place the clean and dry gel tray into the casting plate. It should be a tight fit. Install the comb and adjust the height so the bottom of the comb is 0.2 centimeters above the inner surface of the tray. On the outside of the tray, mark 0.5 centimeters above the inner surface of the tray. Remove the comb and place the casting plate on a level table. Use a corning tube to measure out the required volume of agarose solution. Pour the solution into the gel tray so that the gel reaches the 0.5 centimeter mark. Immediately set the comb into the first slot. Be aware of the direction of the screws. If there are any bubbles, quickly remove them with a pipette tip or by spraying the surface of the gel with ethanol. Allow the gel to set for at least 15 minutes. Make sure the gel is completely solidified. Install the gel tray, holding the solidified agarose gel into the electrophoresis tank. The side of the gel with the comb should be at the negative electrode. Pour enough electrode buffer into the tank so that it just covers the gel. Remove the comb gently. Wash the loading wells with electrode buffer to get rid of bubbles. Mix loading buffer into the nucleic acid sample tube and centrifuge before loading. Or mix loading buffer with the nucleic acid sample on parafilm before loading. Load the samples into the wells. Be careful not to poke the gel. Attach the lid and power cords, black to black and red to red. Set the machine to run at 100 volts. Watch for bubbles to appear around the electrodes and make sure the tracking guide moves toward the positive electrode. After about an hour, when the tracking die has moved two-thirds the distance of the gel, switch off the power and remove the power cord. Electrophoresis is done. If the loading buffer contains no nucleic acid staining dye, then the gel needs to be stained. Wear gloves to remove the gel carefully from the tray and place it in a staining box wrapped in aluminum foil. Load the required amount of electrode buffer and staining dye. 
fasten the lid and cover the box completely in aluminum foil. Place it on a shaker. Shake the gel in the dark for 30 minutes. If the loading buffer contains a nucleic acid staining dye, wear gloves to remove the gel carefully from the tray and place it in a clean box. Wash the gel twice with distilled water to remove salts. Using the Blue View Imaging System. Wearing gloves, gently prop up the gel with a spatula, drain the excess buffer, and transfer the gel onto the gel visualizing box. Close the lid and turn on the blue light to stimulate the dye. Caution! Do not look directly at the blue light. Use a camera phone to photograph the gel. Using the UV light imaging system, sequentially turn on the power, screen, camera, and the white light in the black box. Wearing gloves, gently prop up the gel with a spatula, drain the excess buffer, and transfer the gel into the bottom of a Ziploc bag. Center the bag with the gel in the black box. Close the door. Turn off the white light. Turn on the UV light. Release the camera shutter. The shutter speed is preset. Turn off the UV light. Preview the image. Take note of the file names and download the images. If the image is under or overexposed, adjust the shutter. Dispose of the staining liquid waste, solid waste, and other waste into separately labeled containers. Use a Kim wipe to remove any remaining liquid on the imaging system. Any containers contaminated with staining dyes must be cleaned in a designated sink, dried with paper towels, and put back into storage. The end. Thank you for watching.